is Randy Schoenberg. I'm a volunteer curator at Genie.com. And today I want to tell you about display preferences and how you can change them to control how you see your tree on Genie. Uh, so here I am on my profile page. By the way, you can always get to that by clicking on your name right here in the upper right. And uh, let's say we want to go to View Tree. So you can click on Tree here. You can also click on Tree over here. Uh, either way will take you to your tree on Genie. And how you see your tree is determined by your display preferences. Um, if you click and hold down, you can sort of drag the tree around. That's one of the great features of Genie. So here you see my family. And at the bottom of the screen, it says Navigate, Go To, and Preferences. And what you want to do to change your display preferences is click on Preferences. And up pops this window here at the bottom, which controls how the the tree is displayed. So here on the left you can see you can choose the number of ancestors or descendants that are uh, shown in the window. So if I click from two to three it's going to redraw the tree and now it looks a little bit different. Um, you can you can uh, just show direct ancestors for example if that's all you're interested in right then it looks again a little different. Each You can play around with all of these things. Uh, the middle section here shows different tree layouts. So here's the standard tree layout, but you can also make it a little bit more vertical, like this. Uh, you can show only photos. Makes it a little different. You can see everything together. You can show names only, right? Um, and, uh, and then over on the right, you have various layout options. Uh, there's click to flip nodes. I like these. Let me go back to what I'm used to, which is the standard layout. Uh, when you have have um, click to flip nodes or flip nodes, that means if I click on my profile, I get this type of information. I get a little summary of everything uh, about the profile, and then I have all these buttons at the bottom so I can add parents or siblings or spouses, children, I can add photos or resolve duplicates, all these different options just by clicking on on it. So if you have that click, these flip nodes or click to flip nodes, you can play around with that. Uh, you can either show photos or not show photos. There are also um, various other options here, changing the color backgrounds, opening profiles in new windows, etc. Mark deceased means you'll have like a little black bar when someone is dead. See that black bar up there? That That is because I have Mark deceased there. Okay, so all these are the sort of general display options. You also have naming options. And a lot of people like to see things differently. I like to have maiden names, for example, in parentheses afterwards. But a lot of people don't like that. So you can change that here. You can have the birth surname in all capital letters if you want. Um, you can have it uh, just as it's entered, so it'll change from uh, standard to all caps uh, by going like this, right? You can put it in parentheses, which is how I like it. You cannot display the birth surnames. You have all of these, all of these different options. Uh, this is the way I like it. And you can do it uh, everywhere you look on Genie or just in your tree, etc. Uh, you have all of these different options here, which I, I generally don't change these too much, but once you get it how you like it, then you'll be much happier. Um, okay. Then there is revisions, and you can show your revision history, and then these advanced uh, options for font size, for date format, uh, how it's rendered depending on what type of device, what type of computer you're looking at. You can also always restore the default. So we have all of these different display preferences. A lot of times I hear people complaining that they don't like how the tree looks, they can't use it so well. It's mainly because they have not discovered how to use their uh, display preferences in the tree.